Hey everybody, welcome back to MicroBeerReviews.com. We have a West Coast IPA to uh, re review with you guys from the Whitmer Brothers. They're out of Portland, Oregon. I live on the East Coast, so they are kind of a newcomer. I've been around for a little bit, but now they're starting to even show up in grocery stores. Um, this is their Hop Side Down Indian Style Pale Lager. Got you there, didn't I? It's an Indian style pale lager, not Indian style IPA ale. So, what on earth does that mean? Um, they say it's they turned the, the the things deliciously upside down with an aggressively hot, cold fermented brew that brings together the character of a clean, crisp finish of a lager, but with the hoppy aroma and character of an IPA. Hopside down is our take on an Indian pale lager. Or an IPL, not an IPA. This second release in our Rotator IPA series in 2013 offers a big floral hop aroma and a refreshingly dry, mild, bitter finish, perfect for the warmer, warmer months. So it's available April through September, so that's a good part of the year. IBUs are 50, ABVs are 6.7%. Uh, Alchemy and Cascade hops, which are common, especially on the West Coast breweries. Uh, pale malts and caramel uh, malts as well. Um, I've already had one, and i got to tell you, it was uh, surprisingly good. The cap here is their uh, Whitmer Brother Brewing, Portland, Oregon, on the top. On the inside it says, Prost, which is all on a lot of their website stuff, to the perfect pour on the inside. I thought that was kind of cool to mention. Um, Color-wise, it, it looks a little um, less caramely than some of the um, IPAs. It does look more like a lager, hence, and so it should. More of a, a golden uh, straw color uh, with a little bit of caramelization. Nice white frothy head on it. Sticks around for a while. Um, it smells really interesting because it's got a little bit of what I call the sweetness of a lager in, in terms of the way it smells, but you can clearly tell there's hops in there which are two things you're not used to mixing. Um, it, it's not real overpowering, but it almost has that corn sweetness to it in the background. Um, as far as taste is concerned, it is very clean. It is very easy to drink. It is very um, just easy to swallow, which is one of those things that, that I appreciate in a good beer. It's very, very clear and very filtered. Um, it does have a nice hop finish to it um, on the back end and a little bit on the front end. It's a little bit on the sweet side. It should be. Um, but here again, most people are used to IPAs. They want something a little more bitter. It's not that. That is not the case here. IBUs are only 50. And the only other thing I'll mention is the, the floral aroma. It does have a nice um, hot floral aroma, which I like a lot. Um, but here again, it's not very strong compared to most IPAs. So, it's an interesting twist. A little bit more sweetness, not as hoppy. Got a nice hoppy background to it. Very clean and clear and easy to drink. Um, nice finish to it. They talk about summer month. This would be awesome in a cooler full of floating ice at very cold temperatures, in my opinion. On a really hot day, whether you're going to have one or more than one, you could definitely do that with this beer. Uh, I think I paid... Nine, maybe at most ten dollars for a six pack, so I think that's a good price point. So uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. Leave some re leave some re uh, comments on our YouTube channel. The uh, hop side down here, and uh, let us know what you think. We appreciate you uh, watching our uh, videos, and we're on Twitter and on Facebook. If you want to follow us there, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we upload often. So we will see you again real soon with another beer. Cheers.